Hey guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X. Today I'm going to show you guys the Pi for Motorola devices. This is a root method. Big shout out to JCase, also known as Team and IRC, for providing this root exploit. This will work on all Motorola devices that are running 4.4.2 or a lesser build. Uh, unfortunately, this has been patched in build 4.4.3. That's why it was released as quickly as it was. So this is actually not a full on root. It is full root. It's more of a tethered root. So basically if you reboot your device, you'll need to rerun this process in order to have root. This does not write system files. This doesn't take away any write protection on the phone. It's strictly for root applications. So you're going to get super user access. You will not be able to write system files. Uh, there is no removal of right protection so we'll go ahead and get started so on the phone we'll need to go into settings scroll down to about phone and click on the build number until you open up developer options once you have developer options here you want to turn those on be sure that usb debugging is turned on and then you'll plug in the device to your computer you will navigate to the link in the description that'll bring you to this page here this is the pi for motorola devices root exploit by J Case, and what you're going to want to do is scroll down and you will download the Pi 1.1 zip here. Once you have downloaded that, you will throw that in your Android folder. So I have my SDK set up here on the desktop in the Android folder, and you'll see that I have extracted and placed the pi.jar and the root.sh in that folder. You'll open up terminal and you will you'll point your directory you'll cd into that directory. Okay, so once you are in the proper directory, we'll go back to the page and copy and paste our commands in the terminal emulator. So the first command here is pushing the pi.jar into data local ATVC on our device. So we'll go adb push pi.jar space forward slash data forward slash local, forward slash ATVC, enter. That's gonna push the file. You will then go to ADB, push, root.sh, data, local, ATVC. That'll push the second file to the phone. Then you'll type in ADB, shell, ch mod, 755, data, local, ATVC root.sh and then the final command ADB shell data local ATVC root.sh okay so uh, you're gonna get this or you may get this where it says failed no such file or directory exists it did run the exploit so your phone is indeed rooted okay so real quickly I'll show you guys that we are indeed rooted uh, after the root method is finished, you're going to get that message in terminal that's saying that it has not, uh, no such file or directory, you're saying that it failed, but it did not fail, it actually did install root. You'll need to head to the Play Store and install Super SU by Chainfire. You want to be sure to update your binaries if it asks you to do so. So we'll go ahead and open this. It's not asking us to update binaries, so for now, we won't worry with that. Okay, we can go to Root Checker. And verify root you see that it's asking for root permission so we know that our device is now rooted like I said guys this works on any Motorola device 4.4.2 or lesser builds unfortunately it does not work on 4.4.3 big shout outs to JCase or team and IRC on Twitter for releasing this exploit method to root our Motorola devices if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the future you can find more of me at droidmotorx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.